So we recently bought this 1976 Rasmus 35 thanks to all of the incredible people that purchased our ebook Live Creatively and are now supporting us on Patreon. Today, we're going to be installing two large flexible solar panels on top of the Bimini. All of the panels, charge controllers, and battery monitors were kindly given to us by Renogy to help us on our boat life adventure. To protect these awesome flexible panels, we want to install them securely to the Bimini, while also making sure we can remove them for heavy weather sailing. And to do that, we realized we needed a big piece of machinery and we went for it and we bought a sewing machine that is heavy duty so it can handle like large amounts of fabric and durable fabrics. They said they come really oily. And so in the future we could fix our own sails and make cushions, but today the project is attached to the flexible solar panel to our Bimini. And I'm a little bit nervous to be honest because I haven't sewed anything since the seventh grade home ec, but it's a skill that is so useful and I think it's gonna be really fun to be able to be self-reliant on the boat. So we decided to invest in ourselves and get this sewing machine. And now I just need to learn how to use it and hopefully it's not too difficult and we can get these solar panels attached easily. <laughs> this is a big machine. Oh. I think this will fit on our little boat. It's gonna sink it. We could use this as an anchor. Literally. I mean, it's definitely not a beginner machine, but I'm a beginner, so I just, I'm gonna have to watch a lot of tutorials, I think. Thank you. <laughs> Everything's so oily. <laughs> There's like no border and if you touch the cell, you block it and yeah, you have to create space for these guys to go in. So panel one, panel two, and our seamstress. Exactly. So we have these two types of fabrics. This one is called Sunbrella and it's like good in the sun and this is called Forget what, but this one's tough and it won't have this um, solar panels like smush through it mm -hmm. or like wear through it. So we have to create kind of like a balance between using both. And last night we discussed it and I think we have a plan. So the main thing here is that the edge of the solar panel is quite sharp and with the wind and everything, this is gonna be wiggling. And if you just put it directly onto the bimini, it would wear through. So hopefully this extra material that's really tough will protect the bimini fabric and everything will be fine. So it'd be something like that. And then we would be folding this like that, right? That thing works well, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is double-sided tape and we're gonna put it between the two fabrics so that they stay together when I'm sewing them. And apparently it kind of melts a little bit when it heats up. So it creates a better, better for, a bit better of a water seal on each of the sewing marks. So there we go. 
and then here is where we're gonna put the 3M tape and then we'll stick the solar panel to that. I feel like my grandparents, who are no longer with us, tragically, but they would be very proud because my grandpa was in the Navy and my grandmother was a seamstress, so I feel like we're really combining skills. We heard a real sewing project. But we kept our heads in the sand. I'm proud of myself. It worked. Back it looks great. It's maybe not the straightest, but We still swim, but we can't see land. And so we're all in, all in, all again. Oh, it's hard to feel it, so we pretend. And then we're off and on and on again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we ended on a win. Ew. Oh, it does look nice. For anybody who actually knows how to sew, I feel like you're gonna be like, wow, it's a big work in progress, but it is my first time sewing in 20 years, so I think it's a win. So then I'm gonna have to reinforce that. Whoa, it just goes, cooks that. Whoa, this is smelly. So today is a very exciting day. We are gonna be taking off the tarp and all of this wood so that the boat is finally free because we only have a few days till the boat goes in the water. So we wanna take it off, see if we can get the bimini up and really start prepping her to get her in the water. How much bigger does the boat feel? Huge. It's like crazy. I can really see us relaxing, lounging up here. It finally like is starting to feel real, I think. Yeah. Like we only are, we're like days away of getting this boat in the water Isn't that and I crazy? can't believe it. Yeah. You excited? Yeah, I feel like I'm actually like it's really sinking in. That's fun. Too far. Look at your hair. I can't look at it. I don't know what it looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks crazy. Okay. <laughs> I broke the zipper. <laughs> if it's breakable, <laughs> you're gonna break it. I'm sorry. It just That's literally fine. it was not much. Like That's fine. That's we fine. can remake that. <laughs> not gonna break this zipper. Yeah. And we're officially locked out. <laughs> cool. 
Hello. Hello. This is gonna have water come in. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Woohoo! So this Bimini project is back on and we've had a bit of a frustration because the 3M tape didn't work the way we wanted, but now we're gonna try doing it with this amazing, super strong Velcro and we're hoping for better results. So I'm gonna attach this now. It's very windy, I don't know if you can hear me. And then we're gonna sew it and everything at the boat yard. Oh, I forgot the scissors. One second. Sweet! So let's go sew this. It's kind of fun to sew outside. Yeah. In the elements. Okay, let's get going. All right, so just put the seizing wire on and then so, yeah, put it on the roof. Seizing wire to each corner, then put it on the bimini so we have to attach the other sides of these, but it's going well. I think it's working. Really? Yeah. Woo I think it's working. Sweet. So this video was edited entirely with solar power. Through the magic of editing, you have just been fast forwarded two months in time. The boat is in the water. We are happily living aboard. It's only a few days into our whole experience, but the panels are doing great. We have two 160 watt flexible panels. They're super durable and they're exactly what we needed for this like specific situation. It's like, there's not a lot of places to put panels on a boat. So we really wanted to leverage all the space we had, which meant that we had to figure out a situation with the Bimini. And I'm really proud of the contraption that David and I built. The panels seem really secure, but also really easy to take off in the case of like a storm or something where you wouldn't want them up here. You can just pop them off on all of these things and ta-da, you can get them off, but otherwise they're very secure. Um, so these were the 160 watts and then we have a hundred or then we have a 50 watt up in the front right here um, Another flexible panel and we're just so grateful. Thank you to Renogy for sponsoring this video um, This video is actually edited on solar power Which just makes me so happy because I feel like that means the adventure is really happening now And we do have a like one more project with Renogy to do is that we have three rigid solar panels So they don't only make flexible they have rigid as well and those will be in the back there three on the stern arch but that was a whole production getting that stern arch up and we filmed it all so that will be another video very soon um thank you for watching and thank you as well to our patrons for supporting us they are getting the behind the scenes scoop on all things sailing related um and we're very grateful for all of you here so thank you for watching and we will be in touch shortly